Take care. Good work at Vatican. Jorol is quite pleased with the information now coming in about the site. There is another predicament, which I believe you can also help resolve, if you feel ready for it. Excellent. You have become most reliable, and I assure you that the Council appreciates it. Now, to the matter at hand. In order to deal with the apparent growing problem of necromancers in Cyrodiil, the Council needs as much information as possible. The Mystic Archives have been consulted with minimal success. Guild members are investigating other avenues, but I believe more can be learned here. What little we know makes no sense in a larger context. For example, why was Falcar, who we know now to be part of this cult of necromancers, in possession of black soul gems? The Archmage has other reports of these gems being associated with necromancers, but we do not know why. We don't even know what they do. We have overlooked these questions because we are so focused on rooting out the necromancers as quickly as possible. I'd like you to speak with Tarmina at the Mystic Archives. She is our specialist on Magica Arcana and has been helping gather information. I believe we have been asking her the wrong questions, taxing her too much with vague attempts to make sense of all that we know. Speak with her specifically about these black soul gems, if she knows anything about their powers or creation. An insight into their origins may lead us to those who are responsible for them. You become more valuable to the guild with each passing day. The guild wishes to reward that, and so you are raised to the rank of conjurer. Accept these robes and wear them with pride. The Blackwood Company were taking bad hiss from a sick tree. No wonder they fought blood mad and fearless. Her expertise in arcane knowledge and lore could be invaluable to us if we can make proper use of it. She can likely be found in the archives now, pouring through materials on necromancy. She stops only to sleep at the Archmage's request. Report back is... Yes? Uh, look, if you're here for information, I'm afraid you'll have to find it on your own. I'm swamped right now, up to my ears in necromancy. Not practicing it, mind you. Wouldn't want anyone to think I was involved in that sort of thing. I simply meant researching it. Why? Why? Oh, no real reason. It's just that the entire Council of Mages has been in here at one time or another recently, all wanting information on necromancers. Necromancy, of all things. Oh, of course you were. No doubt the Council is trying to get you to bother me further. I ran Karanya out of here just a short while ago and told them to leave me alone. I keep telling them I can't produce results if I'm not given any time. 
I'm not used to working under conditions like this. Help? No offense, but I don't see how you can do that. Unless you'd like to take some of this work off my shoulders, I'm beyond helping. But I do appreciate the sentiment. If there's anything specific you need that may be more reasonable than just asking me about necromancers. Hmm. Now that is a bit more specific. Finally, something I can respond to. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, there is one obscure text that references these gems. I believe it's still around here someplace, unless Falkar never returned it. The name of the book is Necromancer's Moon. I'm unclear on the origins of the text, but it does involve these gems you're interested in. I'm afraid you'll have to find it yourself. I'm so out of sorts with all these requests, I've lost track of most everything. It's very distressing. The Mystic Archives have a large collection of books. Look around, and you may learn a thing or two. A secretive cult devoted to the Daedra Lord Merun's Dagon, the Prince of Destruction. They follow the teachings of Menkar Cameron, who calls for the return of the Mythic Age, when Oblivion and the mortal world were not separate. The usual Daedric claptrap of the purifying power of destruction. They hope to bring Merun's Dagon back to Tamriel and give us all a good cleansing. I believe you'll find it quite helpful. Once you've had a chance to read it, I'd be happy to discuss it with you. <laughs> Why all the fuss now? I thought it would have died down by now, what with the ban on the practice of necromancy and the guild being in place for as long as it has. And yet, suddenly everyone shows up on my doorstep, needing information immediately. Never mind that I might have things on my own to work on. The Mages Guild runs more or less like it always did but we lost quite a few members when the practice of necromancy was banned. Good day.
are you today? I hope I can help. I heard that Soros Aranem made himself quite a bit of money recently. He seems very happy about it. Bye! Morning! Has Tarmina been of use in gathering information about the necromancers? Excellent work. I believe this will be of use to the Council. I shall make sure they're made aware of its contents. Hmm. I've never heard of this Shade of the Revenant. Some sort of celestial phenomenon? If that's correct, then Bothiel would most likely know something about it, as the caretaker of the Orrery. She should be on university grounds. A most fascinating contraption. Bothiel is one of the few who understands how it worked and kept it running. Not only has necromancy been banned from practice in the Mages Guild, but the Guild won't deal with anyone who openly uses it. Be seeing you. Hello there. Is there something I can do for you? Revenant, you say? And it represents something in the heavens? It sounds familiar. Let me think. Ah, yes. Now I remember. Falcor was here some time ago asking about just such a thing. Said it was for research. He had a large sheaf of notes with him about it. I'm afraid I didn't have any more advice for him than I do for you. With the Ori in such a state of disrepair, I have no point of reference. Falcar did leave this behind. I think it fell from his notes as he left. I didn't pay it much attention, but perhaps it will be of use to you. I've heard things, to be sure, but I don't really know anything about them. Is it true that some of our guildmates were killed? Oh, how horrible. Good day.
Hello, Conjurer. I hope I can help. So, Falcar expressed interest in this revenant as well, and left this note behind, did he? Hm. Perhaps we should look into it for more clues. This lists several locations. The first is the Dark Fissure, which I recognize. It's a cave in the mountains, south of Chadenhall. If there is indeed an altar there, as the note suggests, I believe this cave is directly related to the contents of the book. Go to the Dark Fissure the next time this shade occurs. Search for any connection to what we've learned and report back. Please, be careful. Anything you find is of no use to us if you do not survive. I believe we are dealing with powerful forces here. Do not put yourself in harm's way if it can be avoided. Be careful. It's you. Hi.
The Order of the Black Worm will feast on your soul, Lord. You will not stop us. The Order of the Black Worm will consume all in its path. Hey. I'm sorry, fellow Magister, but I don't have time to talk right now. My studies keep me very busy, as you can well imagine. Have you been to the Dark Fissure yet? We need to know all we can about the Necromancers. So you saw them? The altars must be infused with some kind of power to change over the soul gems. I shall pass the news on to the Council. Most troubling indeed to know that these are not merely myths. I also fear their numbers may be greater than we believed. You have again performed admirably. You have my thanks, and that of the Council as well. The Major's Guild has made... <laughs> more than a few enemies since necromancy was banned. <laughs> 